be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use automation on your hi-hats. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out. I have a hi-hat pattern right here. Um, basically, um, it's being used in the piano room. So that sounds decent, but like say if I wanted to pan those hi-hats for left to right as it's playing, how would we do that? So I'm just going to push P to just delete this, well not, not delete, but close that this uh, this window. And what I'm going to do here is actually push the letter A. And when you push that letter A, this is going to open up your automation. Okay, so from here, the next step would be to find what you want to automate right here. So um we can go over here and do volume um but if you want to do pan you come over here and do do it like this and then from here we're just going to scroll in and let's say if i want um say where i speed up this uh hi-hat pattern right here and right here if i want this like uh to the left or the right then i can do so so i'm just going to go over here and click some um points in We're going this boom and here maybe one more here we're gonna finish it out here now let's check it out And you can play around with other different um, things here as well. So like say if I wanted to maybe do a uh, EQ uh, high pass or low pass on here, we can come over here and well, actually what we could do is just go ahead and uh, add an EQ onto there and set up the high pass or low pass filter first. Now that that's set up like this, and now I can come in here and find that channel EQ. So, same difference here. I'm actually uh, had it doing the wrong um, the wrong option here so it's not going to be that Q shelf it's going to be high cut frequency should be this one yeah perfect okay So you want to do some like you know cool little filter sweeps and stuff that's how you can do that as well let's check it out you probably don't want it that deep so we can just come out here and do it like this So this, I mean, you know, depending on your creativity, you know, this is just a way that you could, you know, add some spice to uh, your hi-hat patterns and everything like that. If you want to, you know, copy and paste this, you can pretty much just command R and it should copy and paste all of that there. As you can see, command R and it's copy and pasting the uh, uh, automation as well. So that's pretty much the video for today. If you liked today's content, make sure you go ahead and get subscribed because we're coming back to back with bangers just like this one. Also, make sure you go check out my site. We have full video courses you can you know, purchase, download from the site. We also have uh, loop kits that are royalty free that you can get from the site as well. And I also have a one-on-one -on -one service where we can 
you know, meet live and, you know, get your questions answered there as well. But anyway, thank y'all. Appreciate y'all. And I'll see you in the next video.